Welcome to the nation's largest and most prestigious collegiate fishing event. The 2015 Boat US Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship presented by Cabela's. This year marks the tournament's 10th anniversary as the longest running college fishing event to date. Over 160 teams of anglers have launched their boats to begin fishing day one of two for the coveted prize as national champions. In addition, another sought after prize is still on the line, the Cabela's School of the Year. So let's get it started. So we're here in Florence, Alabama for the 10th anniversary of the Boat US Collegiate Bass Championship presented by Cabela's. Kind of cloudy overcast day, but the kids got out there this morning and uh, almost 200 teams in first class boats with first class support and sponsorship uh, support from Yamaha, Ranger. We've got pro teams here, it couldn't be better. This is really a, a pro level event. We got into this because we wanna grow the sport. You never know if you're going to have a, a tow, but sure enough, right after the, the last flight left, we got a call saying that somebody had uh, thrown a prop. So we were able to get out there and get them back in, and now they're back out fishing, really, in uh, no more than half an hour. But we decided to just go ahead and get towed in, change the prop out, and probably still going to make the run if we can. We're going to get Yamaha to check it out, make sure it ain't getting in the lower unit at all. Um, and we're probably still gonna make the run later on. It does not look like it, Dan, it looks okay. If you break down on the road, if you're towing your trailer, uh, we can come get you. Clearly, if we're, you're on the water, we can come get you. We have great insurance for tournament anglers. We have a kayak up to a uh, 100-foot mega yacht, anything in between, we got you covered. Oh, it's a great lake. You got a lot of good shallow fishing here. The, obviously, the deep fishing's great. We've been cruising down the lake, seeing all the guys sitting on the ledges, and yeah, it's a, it's a really beautiful lake. While our anglers have taken off on Lake Pickwick this morning, the playing field has changed some from years past, as the lock and dam to Wilson is temporarily closed. This year, our anglers are playing in some closer quarters, which should make things even more competitive this weekend. We take you now to the Murray State Racers out on the water, already hooked up. Big lamp ray on. All right, good job, man. There we go. Need five more like it. Finally got a good bite, man. Been looking for one of them all week. We need to catch four more today, and we'll be sitting sitting pretty. See how. See how he was barely hooked. I saw it swimming on the side of his mouth right here. I was like, oh Lord. Coming up, when we return, we continue with day one coverage of the 10th annual Boat US Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship presented by Cabela's. Stay with us. The 10th anniversary Boat US Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship is brought to you by Cabela's. It's in your nature. Tow Boat US. Take us with you on the water and Ranger Boats, still building legends, one at a time. Towboat US has the largest network of on-the-water towing companies standing by 24-7 to assist you. And with a Towboat US unlimited towing membership, the service is free. Having a Towboat US membership with trailer assist means you'll never be left stranded while towing. With our 24-hour roadside assistance, your flat tires, jump starts, and towing are all taken care of. Visit us at BoatUS.com. Towing and join today. 
engineered to excel, the Ranger Z500 and Z100 series are built for the ultimate ownership experience. It's a commitment to excellence packed with real-world advantages and exclusive features. Experience the accelerated performance standards of the legendary Ranger Z series. From first light to last cast, they're put together to set you apart. Yamaha Outboards. Reliability starts here. The ultimate predator has evolved again. Now, Yamaha VMAX SHO Performance is prowling the waters in four hungry, exciting new models. With their four valves per cylinder and double overhead cam fuel injected design, these advanced four stroke predators are taking performance to a whole new level. Vicious, lean, efficient. VMAX SHO, the pack is growing. The 10th anniversary Boat US Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship presented by Cabela's is brought to you by Yamaha Marine. Reliability starts here. Garmin, the clearest scanning sonar images on the water. And by Powerpole, swift, silent, secure. Welcome back to Pickwick Lake, Florence, Alabama for the 10th anniversary Boat US Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship presented by Cabela's. Our wide field of anglers from both the U.S. and Canada have begun day one competition. Now, let's join Ontario's Sir Fleming College out on the water. Little guy, but she's a start. It's another reason why we kind of figured on doing this. With weather like this, I mean, if we get five fish that are in, sitting around that are like that, if all your ledges shut down when it gets this cold, I mean, somebody's gonna whack them, obviously, but. We were fishing a few docks, and in Canada, we've both been chased by jet skis for fishing people's docks. And people are, oh, hey, how's it going, y'all? How how's the fishing? You guys catching them? Yeah. <laughs> it's just, it's incredible, the, the atmosphere around bass fishing down here. It's nothing like we've ever seen before. It's just, yes. it's absolutely amazing. Good job, buddy. There's two, baby. That's a decent one, too. That's a bigger fish, too. <sighs> Doing exactly what we do in Canada for smallies, drop shotting. <laughs> there you go. The crush minnow. Look at this. Watch Here. this, ready? <laughs> that got it out right there. Hold your fish, buddy. Not bad. Good job, Tom. With Wilson Lake off limits this week, our anglers are starting to get a good feel for Lake Pickwick while honing in on their respective spots. What's gonna happen is, is you, when you get out there and watch these kids, you're gonna see a lot of boats in the same areas. There'll be sometimes seven, five, seven, ten boats in one area. It gets to be a little dicey out there because, you know, guys are throwing each other boat. One guy wants the cast that this guy's got. One guy might be catching them, this guy over here might not. The lock up to Wilson Lake, it's out of service right now. And so we're not, you know, kids can't go up to Wilson Lake this time. This year, everybody's gotta stay in Pickwick. Oh, it's a monster. This week in practice, the anglers have seen rain one day, clear skies the next, and are now greeted by a cold front to start the morning for day one. In addition to adjusting to the lock situation, our anglers are still figuring things out post-practice and are finding that not all bass are coming from deep ledges. Uh, he, he might actually make keeper number four. Play on that board for me. Did you just catch a 12 incher? 12 and an eighth. <laughs> you watch all those guys on TV, you hear about them, you read in the magazines about them. You know, we actually got to have, you know, a conversation with Forrest Wood, uh, you know, at the meeting and talk to us. He told us a little bit about himself and you know, that's, that's just neat that they'd come down and support the college anglers in the tournaments like this. Bigger than the one I just caught, that's for sure. It's ain't smaller, what to keep. <laughs> The rock. Well, there's number five now. I thought it was getting a bite too, I thought. Oh, she inhaled that one. Oh, Bubba. With the dock bite turning on, several other anglers have caught on as they're now finding some success outside of the popular deep ledge pattern. Now, let's join Murray State, who haven't abandoned fishing deep while they're still hooking up with some schools of bass.
Kick the booty? Yeah, kick it in. Maybe one. Looks like, well, actually, it's 12 inches for large mouth. That's a fish. Small guy. He's a keeper, though. Uh, it's mid-morning. We've fished a couple of our schools. Uh, the wind was blowing a little bit harder than we expected. We've only got two small keepers in the boat so far, but sometimes that's how ledge fishing goes. Now, let's join the University of North Alabama. The big, massive schools that Pickwick's known for, I haven't found a ton of them. You know, we found two or three of the big, big schools that it's known for, but I feel like the fish are just coming out. Like, they might be about to load up. I mean, it's, it's just close to just erupt. We got the wild world. Current hears everything. Uh, when that current, when they're really pulling that current, just really makes them fire up and they eat very good. And the thing I love about Pickwick and the Tennessee River in general is just any cast, you never know, you could have a four pound large mouth, four pound small mouth, or a four pound spot, just everything about it is just amazing to me. It looks as though the deep bite is still producing for the University of North Alabama. When we return, more coverage of the first day of competition on Lake Pickwick for the 10th anniversary of the Boat U.S. Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship presented by Cabela's. The distances aren't getting shorter. The trucks are going farther. The 2013 Ram 1500 best-in-class fuel economy, engineered to move heaven and earth. Guts, glory, Ram. The new Ram 1500, Motor Trend's 2013 Truck of the Year. Panoptics is the future of fishing. We can see our lures coming in. We can choose the proper lures for the depth of fish are in. It makes fishing so much easier when you go to a new body of water because now you can really identify with the bass, figure out where they're feeding, what depth they're at, and really learn how they're reacting to your lures. To be able to see that kind of stuff and understand it and then interpret it, put it into your game, unbelievable. I promise to be ready, anytime. I promise to love the sport just as much as you do. I promise to always be flexible. I promise to pull my weight and then some. I am Trilene and I promise to never give up. Built with innovation, fueled by passion. Berkeley Trilene, America's most trusted fishing line. The Arctic Ice Tundra Series, capable of keeping your food frozen all day long. The Tundra Series is a portable, safe, and reusable alternative ideally suited to replace dry ice. Keep your food as frozen as the Tundra with the Tundra Series from Arctic Ice. Welcome back to Pickwick Lake, Florence, Alabama for the 10th anniversary Boat U.S. Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship presented by Cabela's. Every individual has to search within himself and find exactly his passion in life. This is not a sport for a person that really likes to fish. This is not a sport that a person should pursue that loves to catch a bass. This is a sport that is worthy of pursuing if you've got a passion for the whole sport. While Pickwick Lake is famous for catching quality and quantity off the ledges in the summer months, many of our anglers have had to follow the bass this week with the ever-changing weather and conditions. Some teams are finding their fish in shallower areas, including boat docks. These anglers are throwing drop shots, wacky rigs, and finesse jigs around these docks and are hooking up with some quality keepers to put in their live wells. I can't tell you how, no, how much we appreciate Boat U.S. Y'all treat us well, that's for sure. Yeah. Pre-terminate dinner is always good. I always love coming back here. This is my 
third year in a row fishing it. Yep. I don't want to pick up this drop shot, but one of the first things, or last things Hank Parker said was, throw the things that you don't like the most and set down the things you like the most and you'll learn a lot more. So I probably should pick it up. Now, let's join the University of Evansville. I don't know if that'll help us. Um, uh, pulled up here on this school of fish and uh, about eight, by about eight o'clock we had our limit. We got a four and a lot of the fish are around two and a half, three pounds, so sooner or later we're gonna have to find some bigger fish, but right now this is the only thing we got, so we're just fishing it. They're schooling on top, dude. I could put the man, oh, he threw it away. What the heck? That's a giant, dude. There he is, got him. That ain't even real life right there. I hope this is that one I saw. Yep. Oh my god. That was crazy. Get him, get him, get him. Yes. Did you see him? Did you see him on top of the yes. water? What the heck was oh, that? He's gonna break your rod. I ain't never seen nothing like that. Did you guys see that? He came off school and I threw a football jig at him. <laughs> that ain't real life. I saw the fish jumping. <laughs> oh my god. He's going nuts. What a great catch by Nick Ubalor. Finding big bass busting on the surface is a surefire way to get your adrenaline going. Now, let's check in again on Murray State, who have also found another hungry school of bass. I got it, don't worry. Funny thing is, first cast in practice on this, we caught a five and a half pound smallmouth. Well, it's 10.30 and our troll motor's pretty much all but done. Uh, we're gonna save what we can, uh, go get in some bays, but we just found a school that's ready to eat. So what we've been doing is just taking the big motor, getting up to them, and make a cast on them. We're getting bit every single time. I think we did it five times. We gotta keep her all five times. So we're just gonna keep doing this until they stop biting and try to save as much troll motor as possible. But we do have a limit, a small limit, so hopefully we can get a couple more decent ones to bite and then see if we can't salvage this day so we can have, have a chance to come back, out to come back out tomorrow and do it right. Since I got into college, this is the tournament that I've wanted to fish. You know, my home lake, it'd be real sweet to bring it home for the home crowd on my home lake where I cut my teeth and learned how to fish. Step over, step over. Stay button, big girl. I mean, I'm pretty sure everybody knows this is a ledge fishing tournament. Uh, probably be one on a crankbait or a big worm or a spoon. Confident in staying out deep and targeting the ledges, UNA is backing it all up with some nice sized bass to put in the live well today. Stay with us, more coverage to come. For all of the latest news, videos, as well as updated information on the Cabela's School of the Year, go to collegiatebasschampionship.com. Also, like us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram to stay connected to the Collegiate Fishing Network. Many of our collegiate anglers are trusting their ranger boats to get them to and from weigh-ins this weekend. It's time now to put your ranger knowledge to the test. What is the fuel capacity in gallons on the Ranger VS 1780 aluminum series boat? Log on to MyDreamRig.com for the answer. Gill that I've used for the last five years has been a far superior product than anything else on the market. The main thing that's really important to me is me being dry. I've been wearing gill suits now for three years and never once have I gotten wet.
more powerful the statement, the stronger the reaction. Yum, results by design. If you're going to power fish, then commit. Yum, results by design. Best fishing line is now available in the United there States. That's a tote. Sunline Super Fluorocarbon with strength to guarantee your confidence. The 10th anniversary Boat US Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship presented by Cabela's is brought to you by Costa. See what's out there. Gill. Respect the elements. And by Florence Lauderdale Tourism. Ram Trucks, engineered to move heaven and earth. Guts, glory, Ram. Welcome back once again to the 10th annual Boat US Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship presented by Cabela's. Day one competition is winding down as over 160 teams are competing for the top prize in all of competitive collegiate bass fishing. The 2015 Boat US Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship presented by Cabela's. Now, we join Arkansas Tech University, who are looking to call. Get that. Pull that small mouth out. That one's bigger. Oh, yeah. It's going good so far, I guess. We got five fish. We've had quite a few bites. Now, we just need to go find some big ones since we got five. Now, let's join Middle Tennessee State University, who have also found a productive school of bass out deep. Small mouth. Be a bass, be a bass, be a bass. Come on. 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 Nice, we'll yeah, great upgrade. Barely out of net range at first jump. Oh, and I was wanting to get her she so jumped. bad. She was hooked good though. So. Was she? Yeah. Wallet it. That shows the quality of Pickwick Lake. My all-time favorite lake, I think. I I look forward to this tournament every year. This is the one that I love to fish and we're hoping. I told I told him our goal my goal is to possibly get a top ten. I'd love to get a top ten. Especially it being his last tournament. So we'll see though. It looks as though more anglers are now targeting the deeper areas of Lake Pickwick, as many had predicted earlier in the week. While the ever-changing weather has impacted some anglers, for others, it provided them a chance to adapt and adjust along with it. So far, day one for this year's event has proven to be one of the toughest, with high winds and dramatically changing temperatures. Now, let's join Texas Tech, who are trying to duplicate their success from practice, despite the changing conditions. If we can find that fifth one, we'd be feeling a lot better right now. If we can get them fired up like we had them the other day, we'll be excited. We had um, we actually caught them four casts in a row. Maybe that bigger school will move up a little bit. We can really put something together. Uh, I ain't. I don't even think you'll keep. Not, no. With the first day coming to an end, our anglers are starting to make their way back to the weigh-in. It'll be interesting to see which school will take the lead on this first day of championship competition. But first, let's join our host city's very own Susie Shoemaker from Florence Lauderdale Tourism. We're in Florence, Alabama at McFarland Park, and we're super excited to have the Boat U.S. Collegiate National Championship again. And we saw tons of good-looking college boys here yesterday afternoon from over 90 colleges across the United States. McFarland is a wonderful facility where you can come. We have a lot of great loopers that come through here. 
and uh, bass fishing tournaments, not only for colleges, but for high schools and for the old guys too. One of the things that, that's great about that is that our community does realize how important it is to bring these folks in here because they come in, they spend their money, they go home, they tell their families how great it is, and they come back and visit. It's great to showcase our area to these college kids because we do have the University of North Alabama here who has the number one in standings right now team. And hopefully they'll keep that and be the number one for two years in a row. It's a very open community, a very friendly community, and everybody wants everyone to do well. As our anglers made it back to McFarland Park to weigh in, despite some challenges and adverse conditions, we saw many nice limits brought to the scales from the best collegiate bass anglers from all over the United States and Canada. After weighing in over 160 teams on day one of the 10th anniversary Boat U.S. Collegiate Bass Championship presented by Cabela's, it was Oklahoma State University that rose to the top of the leaderboard with over 24 pounds. Anglers Dustin Pendergraft and Michael Hall showed off their very productive catch to an excited crowd. We're feeling pretty good. Uh, we didn't think we had quite that much, but uh, after the scale showed, uh, we're definitely looking forward to tomorrow. Hopefully we can get out there and capitalize on it. I think we can probably go out and catch some good fish. I don't think we'll be able to reproduce that again, but we can probably put a good bag with it. And uh, there's a lot of good people out here fishing, though. They can definitely give us a run for the money, so we'll see how it goes. Here are your current standings and points leaders for the Cabela's School of the Year. This year's been quite the slugfest between UNA and Murray State, while schools like Tennessee Tech have also made a charge for contention. This championship event has brought together collegiate anglers from all over the nation who are vying for the most prestigious title in collegiate bass fishing. With one final day of fishing remaining, there are still many teams that can catch a giant final day limit on this well-renowned fish factory, Lake Pickwick. No leads are safe when you have the best of the best in collegiate bass fishing competing on such a productive lake. We'd like to thank our host city of Florence, Alabama. Tune in next week as we continue with coverage and crown the national champion in the 10th annual 2015 Boat U.S. Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship presented by Cabela's. Thank <laughs> you.